Did they really use that food colouring in, back in that, those days? Uh, back in 1913, they would have used cochineal. Right. Okay. So, we obviously just have to do it a little bit safer than what it would have been. Yeah, yeah. Cochineal being crushed beetles, wasn't it? Yeah. What's known as a smoky jaw or a level. And basically, in the northeast, we have a, a thing what's called the Gateshead States. It's like a pier sort of thing that comes across the, shore, the shoreline of the River Tyne. Right, yeah. The keel boat would pull underneath, and the tubs of coal would come across the top and empty the, <coughs> me, empty the coal into the keel boat. Inside there, you have a tallow oil, which is animal fat, yeah. and a couple yeah. of wicks when you light them with. With it being tallow or fat, it burns very smoky. So basically, these were hung on the front of the keel boats, and if one flame started to get higher than the other, then you knew you start to have, you would have to start to uh, fill that side of the keel board. And when it levels up, you know you've got the right amount of coal. Well, I would never have known what that was. <laughs> That is just almost identical, except for the fact that it was the other way around. Right. The oven was on the right hand side yeah. rather than the left. Right. And I can remember being on our hands and knees, cleaning scraping, it, yeah. cleaning it all out, and then blackleading it all after. Do that tomorrow. Oh, right. <laughs> this is just to show the bands what to do. Yeah, so this is well spaced out where normally. You'd have them nice and tight yeah. together like that. Yeah. But all you're doing, you're just poking half of that through the hole, pull it through about halfway, and then bend it over to the next hole, yeah. in that case there. Where oh. That's literally all you're doing. Oh. But you need to have it tight, like you see there. The stitches are very tight right. together. Right, because rug rugs, they, 
cousins to cook. Yes, so yeah. that's this you is turn the it over. That's the front. Yeah. And it looks a bit messy because it's yeah. a bed. Yeah. But that's that's it there on the on the bed. That's the finished. That's the finished one there. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not supposed to be spare. They're supposed to be tight. Yeah. I mean, there's a few tight ones. There. Yeah. So you cover the whole thing. Yes. I mean, you can't see much there because it's just started. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So they were very handy. Yeah. And it costs very cheap to produce. Oh, it's just all clothes. Yeah. Potato sack, flour sack, and yeah. Chop up your own jumpers, your own clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is that right? First time to be in the show. It's my one of our regulars. No, um, Mike's been before, but right. it was many years ago. Is it about 20, 30 years? Nearly, I think, probably 30 years ago. Yeah. Small businesses going, you know, sort of the original yeah. working from home, if you like. But this gentleman, because it's, as you can see, there isn't a lot of natural light. No. Yeah. No. So you would actually be commissioned to make a quilt and you'd go to that person's house and remain there until the quilt was finished. So we're there for a you know, good few weeks, I should imagine. They go and sew the quilt at their house. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. surviving steam locomotive and that's an engine called Puffin Billy. The original which was built in 1813 is still survives today and is down in the Science Museum in London and this engine was built for us in 2005. Now it doesn't travel particularly very fast, it was built for strength rather than speed and it travels at about three to four miles per hour and that's what it did in the day and it's what we try and do today. And it was designed to pull coal in children wagons like those over there. And it could carry up to 20 of these. So it's quite a lot of coal really. Um, 20 to 30 tonnes, depending on how full they exactly they were. Now we've only got 400 yards of track, but it had a five mile journey when it worked at Wylam Colliery.